Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author in trading with over 190k reputation points. In this video, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for a potential move on this pair. And the way in which we will be doing that is first, analyzing the pair from a technical perspective. Then we will go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds and the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing. So without wasting any more time, let's go straight to the charts. Okay, so let's make a full breakdown of the situation that we currently have for GBP CHF. Now, starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that clearly at the moment we are casting very strong support and demand. In fact, from here the market started all this move to the upside again here tested and rejected again here tested and rejected we can see how once again here the market rejected this zone to the upside we then had the break below the area making this previous support turned resistance here the market in fact tested multiple times this zone as resistance now we can see that the market has just broken back above the zone, making this previous resistance turn support and demand here. And we do expect the market to potentially reject this zone to the upside. Dropping down on the weekly, what do we see? Now here on the weekly time frame, we can see how the market has just created this triple bottom at this zone. The market is now rejecting the area to the upside. However, it is also important to point out that we do have previous weekly support turned resistance here, which is now again resistance here. So what we can identify by looking at the structure is that at the moment we are kind of bounded inside of our range. And the range is formed from the top, which is the resistance given by this previous support and resistance. And at the bottom we have the support given by this previous support, which is now again support here. So until the market will remain from a weekly closing perspective in between these two areas, we will most likely continue to range inside of this zone. Dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we have? Now here on the daily time frame, we have quite the perfect pattern that we would like to see in a situation like this. In fact, when you have a range, as we said before, we like to see the market moving more or less sideways. And if we look closely, we can see that from a daily perspective, the market has just printed this W formation. And in general, after the creation of a W, what you want to see is the market create a move to the downside to go and complete the pattern at the previous resistance turn support. Now, I did speak about GBPCHF when the market was around this area, and I explained all the reasons for which we wanted to see the market create this move to the upside to go and complete the pattern at the previous support turn resistance. And we can see, in fact, how that is exactly what the market did. But now that the market has also created this W, we could see a rejection of the top of the range that we have previously identified on the weekly time frame, and for the market to create a nice move to the downside to go and complete the pattern at the previous resistance turn support. And by the way, I will link in description this previous analysis so you can go and check it out for more free education. Now, if we go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders. So the COT data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing. And we check the data for the pound. We can see how the pound lately has been losing and decreasing in net positions. In fact, we can see how we went from having a positive net positioning of 2.2k net positions with 50k longs and only 47k shorts from an institutional perspective all the way up to having 88k shorts from an institutional perspective and only 35k longs with net positions becoming negative meaning that we went from having more longs than shorts to now having more shorts than longs when it comes to the institutional side so the biggest speculators in the market and if we go and see what we have on the chf we can see how the chf lately has been decreasing in net positioning. However, if we look a little bit further, we can see how nothing really changed. We were already sitting in minus 15K here when we were at similar prices on the chart. So if we are to create a rejection to the downside, that would 
most likely be fueled by the GBP weakness. So there is definitely the possibility for a rejection to the downside. Now, in general, if you have an impulse and you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse. And if we do that, what we can see is that we have a 0.32 Fibonacci retracement, which is currently lining up this area, which would be the first downside target. So how we could be approaching this potential short-term shorting opportunity? Now, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily combined with the COT data, those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the intraday time frames, so for our and lower. Therefore, what we could be doing is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the upside, waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bullish market as we have right now to an intraday bearish market. And if the market would shift from an intraday bullish to a bearish market and provide to us one of our valid entries at that point, we could be looking for a potential move to the downside and for the market to go and retrace at least to the 0.32 of the Fibonacci taken on this daily impulse. Now, if you don't know what I'm speaking about when I say market environment shift and valid entries, that is all part of the mentorship program, which you can now access completely for free. In fact, the link is in the description and I really suggest that you go and check it out because you can learn all the rules of the strategies and you will find a lot of valuable content inside of it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, also, make sure that you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education analysis for all of you because obviously it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you in my next video.